Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross video on squaring a cert. So we want to simplify 3 root 8 all squared. Now whenever we square something we just multiply that thing by itself. So the 3 root 8 is going to be multiplied by itself, 3 root 8. Now in a previous video we saw how we can multiply a multiple of a third by a multiple of a third. We first multiply the non thirdy things together, so the 3 is not a third, it doesn't have a root over it. So we times that 3 by the non third here. What's 3 times 3? Well, it's just 9. And we multiply the thirds together, so we've got root 8 times root 8. Well, that's just 8, and the reason is, is if we do separately root 8 times root 8, we know when we multiply a third by a third, we just multiply those numbers together. 8 times 8 is 64, so it's root 64. But what's the square root of 64? Well, it's 8, isn't it? So we just get 8. And in general, if I had to say like root 5 times root 5, we know that's going to be 5. So if you times root of something by itself, it just gets rid of the square root. So we don't need that for the moment. So root 8 times root 8 is just 8. So it's 9 multiplied by 8. And what's 9 multiplied by 8? Well, it's just 72 and that is the final answer. So your final answer when you square a third like this, a single term like three root eight or two root five or whatever, you should end up with a whole number. There shouldn't be a square root in your answer.